It's an uh, organized crime... Mafia? Uh, mafia. First of all, he was not paid even one penny. Once. He says Mr. Goldman actually made the arrangement. Mr. Goldman, did you arrange that? So Rio Goldman is basically a, like a head of a mafia. He's the biggest criminal of everyone. Uh, Uriel Goldman right. and Nachem Helbrands. Let's begin the, the worst accusations. That children are married at the age of 15, that they're physically abused. Is there truth in this? Absolutely not. Why would people accuse you of these things if there was no truth in the accusations? We do believe that it's a political uh, war from the state of Israel. Israel is not after them. Uriel Goldman is the, how do you say, moyach. Like, he doesn't want to get in trouble, but he arranges everything behind the scenes or under the table, how you call it. We have nothing to hide, nothing. So they're basically not anti-Zionism. Israel tried to do the best that they can, when it's, even when it is a war. They just pro themselves. I mean, they'll say everything to everyone, whatever they need something from you, so they'll say it. They need something from Israelis, so they'll be pro-Israelis. They need something from Canada when the call was still in Canada. What age are the children when they're married? Absolutely not less than 16, period. You need something from Guatemala. Uh, I, 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 I think that uh, 13. Well, I never heard about Shlomo Helbrand asked Canada to accept him as a refugee. One witness in particular would impress Commissioner Etier Uriel Goldman. He testified that as a young intelligence soldier in Israel's defense force, he was ordered to secretly spy on Shlomo Helbrand's. That was a, a, an important element because it illustrates the fact that the state or the government was giving some importance to, to this gentleman. Of Tahor are attempting to travel to Iran for asylum. Group leaders pledged allegiance to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. They need something from Canada. It does raise the question of whether or not when you were testifying at the refugee board hearing, you were telling the truth or not. Yeah, absolutely. And it's something from Iran? I wasn't working the intelligence. I can't say exactly where I was well. Uh, I was in two places and it wasn't the intelligence. I said that when we was in Canada, uh, it was a part of the thing when we got the, the refugee status from Israel. And it was important to add this, this uh, thing. So because they, they're doing so much lies against us, so it meant also. It was even proven by a Canadian court uh, that our group uh, persecuted for years. That's why our leader was receiving refugee status from the state of Israel. But it's a very shocking fact.